if you follow the channel, you know that uh, I made this exhaust out of uh, one uh, this Bosel mid pipe for a G35X. It comes out of a, a 2004 to 2007, I believe, G35X model, the all-wheel drive model. But you can see here that it started to uh, rust and actually has a hole on the underside here in the uh, exhaust. The muffler actually rusted all the way out. Um, I've had it on the car for about four and a half years, so it didn't last too long, but um, it's okay for a hundred bucks for each part. It's not too bad. Um, but uh, you know that I, I replaced this silencer in the middle um, with this, this unit, and I'll put the part numbers in the description so you can replicate what I'm doing here. But um, So I got a new one, and I'm just going to... Uh, change it out and show you how to where to cut and how to make uh, this silencer fit um, and then uh, this sounds this sounds a lot better than this stock silencer mid pipe uh, silencer so um, it uh, will sound tons better and it won't drone the way this one does so let's get to it so basically you just size it up and cut you can actually cut it a little bit longer on these pipes because they will fit inside. You can see that these will actually fit barely inside of the silencer pipe. If I had two hands on it, I could, I could actually get it in there and fit it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this one here right at the edge, and that's the Y pipe size. And then on the muffler side, I'm going to cut it. It's kind of a an indent here where they bent the pipe so I'm going to cut it right right there on that bend and then this part is pretty straight so it'll match up with this hole here in the silencer so I'm going to cut it here and pretty much right at the weld here and then we'll be good and I put the clamps on just uh, loosely for now um, you'll need to twist slightly both sides just to get them to line up with the bolt holes. So I just uh, tightened down the, uh, the two clamps just enough to hold it in place. I'm going to put it on top of this cardboard box and slide it under the uh, car as a third hand to help me lift it into place. When you're connecting the back, uh, the muffler to the back side of the mid pipe. Don't forget to install a new gasket in there as well and don't forget to reattach the grounding strap. There are a few options for gaskets. Um, make sure you get the smaller one, the smaller inside diameter gasket. I'll put a link in the description for the right one. Um, these ones are double wall gaskets um, with a metal ring. And you can see the they, they fit well on the Bosel exhaust here. The inlet here is smaller than the outlet of the Y pipe. And these stupid bolt holes are so gigantic that there's a lot of slop, so you gotta be very careful when lining it up so you don't get any leaks in the exhaust. Make sure you center the gasket uh, perfectly inside the, the hole there before you put the bosel pipe on and um, make sure that the gasket doesn't slide around it has some leeway to slide left and right so make sure it stays in the center before you tighten it down tighten down the bolts on the Y pipe first and then tighten down the clamps around the silencer um, that way you can get a better better connection there. Um, there's some leeway or give in these clamps so it doesn't have to meet made up perfectly with the other uh, with the silencer to the pipe. Um, that's uh, basically it. Just tighten it up, check for leaks, and then you're done. One thing I did want to mention though is um, I just so happen to have, I don't know if you can see in there, but um, this is the new silencer from Bozel for that part number. Um, and you can see the baffling in there. 
for comparison's sake, here is the old one. You see it's much different on the way they, they try to silence the air going through. So um, now that I see that, it might be worth your while to connect this first and see how it sounds. Um, the only one I have experience with actually listening to is this old version. It looks like they redesigned it some somewhere in the last couple of years. Um, so it might actually be quieter. So just a tip there. Might save you a hundred bucks buying this uh, vibrant silencer. And uh, that's it. Works pretty good. It's pretty easy. And uh, it actually uh, sounds good rather than the droning crappy bozel silencer that was uh, on the original.